for watching Edipedia World videos. We'll learn about sales quotation today. We'll see about the need of sales quotation, uh, the flow of the sales quotation in a business. We'll see how to work with the sales quotation within SAP Business One. Let's see what is the need of sales quotation and what is the flow of sales quotation in an actual business. Now a quotation uh, is a document that uh, the business presents to the customer which is a legally binding offer. Uh, it is for delivering of a product or a service within a certain fixed conditions like pricing or uh, dates or uh, uh, for the sake of items the quantities of the items. Now the quotation to the customer can be easily uh, entered and monitored within SAP Business One. But before we jump into SAP Business One let us see how a quotation works within a business environment. There is a request for a quote that means customer wants to check with the company or with the business whether they have that item or whether they provide a specific service or not. So the quotations are generally part of your business uh, where the pre-sales activities uh, initiate. For an example the customer would inquire whether you have a certain product in your warehouse and how much it will cost. Uh, whether the product will be available within the certain date or not. Now this inquiry is therefore a request from the customer to you or for a business to provide them with a sales quotation. Now second step after requesting a quote is the negotiation. Now the negotiation is like this that the two entities like the business and the customer they will negotiate upon the terms of pricing quantities or date and other points. And finally, they will agree upon a common interest where both the parties are in a win-win situation. Finally, when the two entities agree on uh, the quotation terms, the information uh, that is provided in the sales quotation forms the basis of the whole sales cycle. Now, the quotation document provides a pre-sale processing environment which allows the preparation of the document very similar to the sales order without actually registering the goods as being on order. Confirming quote means creating a sales order document which ultimately uses the information of quantities, product, pricing and uh, other things within uh, the quotation. Now the only additional data that you want to modify or uh, during the course of time you agree upon you can change within the sales quotation or within the sales order. Let's see how to work with the sales quotation in SAP Business One. Now the sales quotation is a source document that documents an offer to supply a quantity of product for a specified price by a specified date in response to a request. Now the sales quotation can be of two types. It can be either item type or it can be a service type. Item types, it means that uh, you create a purchasing document for items defined within the inventory module. That means that uh, the prerequisite of a sales quotation for an item type should be that the item you are selling or the quotation uh, the customer is requiring for should be an inventory item in your business. Now including both items and service in the same sales document is not possible. However, you can define the respective services as items within SAP Business One. You can then enter the related items and service in a single document along with their respective prices and quantities and you can uh, then proceed forward. To add a sales quotation, you, you can select a business partner or if you know the key to the business partner, you can simply type in. In SAP Business One, it is very simple to input the customer and the other information. Now, in a typical business scenario, there might be thousands of the customer and it is very uh, tedious job to scroll down through the window and uh, to select your customer and then enter the other details. That's why it is very useful when you just start in uh, typing the, the name of the customer or the uh, customer code and you, you just tab out then this customer will appear on the uh, on your form. Here I have taken C20000 that is my Technosys 123 for this example of sales quotation. 
I've taken two items. One is my hard disk, 3 TB. Uh, second is my mouse, USB. I have entered the quantity as 100 and 100. Contact person is John Swain. The reason why I am telling you all this information, though you can see on the screen, is we'll be using this information in the coming slides. Now, when you add a sales quotation, it does not affect your inventory. It is only a quote that is, for the sake of saying, it is the first step of the sales cycle. Now, when you have added the sales quotation, you can simply navigate to the last added sales quotation. You can see here it is 365 next number or the fresh sales quotation will have 365 number and what we have added is 364. So when I'll click this navigate button, it will take me to the sales quotation that I've already added in the last slide. Also, you have certain options. When you right click on the screen, you get these options. You can simply right click and uh, you can see at your gross profit, you can see uh, what is available to promise. You can see what were the rise prices. You can have volume and weight calculations. Uh, you can even see what are the related activities, whether there was a sales call or whether there was an email preceding to this sales quotation or whether there are activities that are uh, following this sales quotation. Let's see about the gross profit. As I already told, you can simply right click and these options will be available. Let us see at the gross profit for the sales quotation. Now you can see uh, the items that you are mentioning or you are selling uh, to the customer, what will be the profit for those items? This is my sales price. This is the base price. These are the quantities that I am selling. Gross profit is this much. Total base price is this much. This tool or this options come in very handy when you are adding the sales um, quotation or the sales document you can see what is your gross profit and if you feel that the gross profit is not according to the desired profit you can even change the base price and you can select the other base price and you can then see what are, what are your gross profit and if you want to change the costing accordingly you can just change the costing now if you want to look at the gross profit that is based on others price list let's say if you're buying from a supplier then you bring the items into stock and finally you are selling them to a normal customer at a different price altogether then you can see what reflection on the gross profits are again this is highly user dependent it is not a mandatory thing to do but you it's just for your sales analysis you can check what will be my gross profit on the base price or regular purchase price or even you can check on on your manual price list where you can buy uh, type in your prices and then you can check what will be your gross profit other things that I can do I can simply right click and I can check my available to promise here I can see what is my available to promise you can see uh, which document are there, what is the customer name, what are the order dates, what is the delivery date, how much was ordered, how much is committed and what is the available or rather in stock. Now this is regarding the general warehouse. There can be uh, tens of warehouse and you can just select those warehouse and then regarding that warehouse it will just bring up the documents. Now, the options that we saw uh, in the previous slide on, uh, on the right click button are also available 
on the toolbar. This is your base document. This is your target document. This is your gross profit. This is the banking. This is the volume and weight calculation, transaction journal and journal preview. We'll see how to take a print preview of a sales quotation. I can simply go and click on this button that is my print preview and what I get is this thing. Now if you want to generate, you can generate a quotation into a printed document. You can click the button and the document you are seeing here is based on crystal reporting. A number of other reports within SAP Business One use PLD or known as Print Layout Designer. But Crystal Report gives you more graphically rich and also you have these golden arrows uh, within the uh, report and when you click on these golden arrows you can actually click, uh, you can actually drill down to the line information as well. So I, uh, let's say if I click on this uh, business partner code, it opens business partner master data for me. Here it opens the business partner for me. Again, these golden arrows will take you to another screen where another information will be uh, shown to you. So in SAP Business One, this is a very handy and this is a very useful option that they have given. Now after getting the confirmation from John, I'll just proceed forth and I'll, uh, I'll have his agreement. I'll ask him whether he is satisfied or not. He will say yes. And then I can proceed forth. The reason why I have highlighted this line here is because that this item that is my mouse USB is associated with a blanket agreement number two. Now blanket agreement we have already seen in the previous sessions what is a blanket agreement. That means the, the options or the quantities that were given in blanket agreement two will be affected by 100 number that means if blanket agreement 2 had 500 quantities of mouse usb and if i am selling those uh, these 100 quantities to the same customer as for the blanket agreement then when you will check the blanket agreement that agreement will have the leftover quantities as 400 again if you want to drill down to that blanket agreement i can simply click on this golden arrow and i can see that blanket agreement Let's see another option known as copy to. In SAP Business One, you get this option as copy to. You can copy to sales order, delivery, AR invoice or reserve invoice. That means all the information that you are having on this sales quotation will be copied to sales order or delivery or AR invoice or reserve invoice. I have copied it to sales order. I have highlighted this delivery date field. The reason I have highlighted is that you have to mention your delivery date. Now if I, I mention some delivery date, then it will give me a pop-up and it will ask me whether I want to update the existing table rows with new delivery date or not. I can even check this box that will remember my answer and it will not show me this message again. Now. After I have got the confirmation from John, I have converted this the sales quotation into the sales order and this message I am getting. The reason which, uh, this message I am getting is because that the different line items that means hard disk, 3TB and mouse USB, these line items can have different delivery date. Now, Cancelling and closing the sales quotation is very easy in SAP Business One. In both cases, the sales quotation is not deleted. You can still see the sales quotation and you can duplicate it. Though the system does not display the cancel or the closed sales quotation in an open item list. We'll see how to work with the sales order in the coming sessions. For now, the sales quotation information what I have shared with you is sufficient for a, a new user or for a 
a beginner thank you